Hey guys, it's Multiplier. We're Plugin Boutique having a look at this cool bit of software from Digital Brain Instruments and it's called Voxpack. It's basically this cool way of taking a sound and making it into an animal or a monster noise, which super useful, could be used in films, dubstep, drum and bass, trap, techno I guess, pretty much anywhere you want a cool monster or animal sound. And the final sound we're going to be making sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> So let's dive in and take a look at how we made this. So Voxpat, how does it work and how do we make that cool monster sound? Well, what we need to do is take an initial sound, which could either be one of the initial sounds that they give us. So we have things like this growl here, so growl one, if we just pull up the dry slider. So we've got things like growls or hisses or roars. So some cool initial sounds, or what we can do is in fact drag in our own initial sound or record something in through the microphone. So that's what's going on in this bottom left section. This is the input bit. So we can see here that this player meter is showing us the sample player for our input. So we need to choose an input. Let's see if this roar is good. That roar could be cool. We can always change this input later and keep all our effect settings the same. So now what we should do is set up a whole bunch of different effects. And so the way these effects work is we have all the effects along the bottom here. So we have things like fear, beast, roar, burst, and so on, all these different cool effects. And then by pulling up these meters, it will mix in an amount of that effect. So if we start pulling up this fear parameter, <laughs> What that's done is it's taken our input, so our raw, and then done a set of effects that is called fear. And then we have all these other ones as well. So we have, for example, beast, which is slightly different, and raw, and so on. And the way it works is these four on the left are the simplest ones. So they are things that will probably sound good without any tweaking, whereas all these other nine are a bit more complicated, arguably a bit more powerful because you can tweak the settings but they are a bit more complicated and they don't by default sound quite as good as the four on the left. So for example, if we wanted to do a bit of, let's do this mammal sound. So this number here, number two, we can pull up mammal. Quite a nice breathy effect. And if we hit this two, then we can actually dial in this particular more advanced effect with all these settings here. But I'll leave that for now. And what I found is the best way to make a nice, thick, interesting, exciting sound is to use quite a few of these effects. But then the key thing is, is to offset them so you can add a bit of delay for each effect separately. So if we hit this delays button up here, then what we can do is for each one of these effects, remember what we see along here is the name of each effect, so fear, beast, roar, and so on. We can offset them, which creates this thicker, longer, more interesting sound. So let's actually load up some of these effects and then dial in the delays and I'll show you what I mean. So what we'll do is semi-arbitrarily, we'll just start dragging up the sliders so we know what some of them sound like already. So we'll just start playing around with them. What we can do if we say use a bit of mammal here and... We're not sure how that particular mammal sounds like because we've we've got all these other things going on, fear, beast, roar, burst, and so on. And then what we can do if we if we have lots of these effects all at the same time and we want to focus in on what say the mammal component is, what we can do is solo it. So, so we can see do we like that? Do we want to tweak it a bit? Maybe if we hop into the actual settings here, we can do maybe change the pitch. Quite like that, it's a nice higher pitch thing. Or maybe we could add a bit of delay with a, or basically we'll add a, a clone of itself and then delay it a little bit. <laughs> Hear the clone coming in half a second later. <laughs> so with a little bit of delay, sounds great, nice and thick. Then we'll unsolo that and then throw in a few more effects. So let's do a little bit of convolution reverb with this S convolution here, S conv. We will hop or we'll solo it and hop into the convolution reverb settings. And we can choose a convolution reverb impulse because remember convolution reverb works by impulses. So the way that it generates the space that it's putting the sound into is this impulse is almost like a perfect echo. And then, 
But the cool thing is you can actually put any sound you like in there. So for example, we've got an alpaca sound, a cow sound, a dog sound, and so on. So it's creating these unnatural spaces. They're not reverb spaces in the traditional sense. They're just more interesting interesting spaces, I guess you would say. So we can do things like maybe change the alpaca one to something a bit more a bit more aggressive. Don't like that cow mooing either. Or the elephants getting in the way. That's a bit better, a bit more mean. Perfect. So what we'll do, we'll unsolo that. We'll see how they all sound together. Sounding pretty cool, but I think some of them would be better. We need something else going on in the low frequencies, I think so. What we can do is if we have a look at this D pitch one, turn that up and solo that. We want to basically get some low frequency information in there. So we'll solo that. It's quite cool. Some low frequency information in there now. So we have a cool sound going, but remember I said the key was actually offsetting the effects with a bit of delay. Let's do that now. So we'll hop into the delays. And then what we'll simply do is keep just playing around until it sounds quite nice. So sounding better already. So we're nearly there. I think what we need is a bit more of an animal vibe. So what we're in fact going to do is another effect, which is the sample player. It's not really an effect as such, but it's like an effect where we just play a sample back and then we can always pitch it up or down if we need to. And that's this S player here. So we'll turn it up a bit and then we'll solo it and see what we can do. So right now we have an alpaca sound coming in. We don't want that. So let's in fact, let's just focus in on one at a time. So we'll turn down the volume of all of them apart from one. So we'll find a cool sound here. There's lots of great sounds in here. I want something a bit meaner. That's quite cool. So that's my favorite so far. Let's try a few more. That's pretty good as well. Maybe we do a scary growl and also that lion thing. Ah, perfect. There you go. So we've got a lion growl. We've just been playing around with these volumes here. Lion growl and then the scary growl just gives it a bit of more of an animal vibe because we've done so much processing, we've lost a little bit of the animal edge. Perfect, and then we can mix all that in. Maybe with a bit of delay, let's try that. There you go, perfect. Ease back on the mammal slightly. Cool. And then there's one final, final little thing we're gonna do, just because we can, and it's I think it's one of the cooler features of the, the master bit. Remember I said we have an input, and then all the effects, and then a, a master bit with a few more final things. If we hop into the master rack, we can do things like throw on some plugins or do a bit of EQ. But what I in fact wanna do is do something cool with this pitch because what we can do, if we turn on this pitch, we can vary the pitch of our sound in general with this master pitch. So. See how it's meaner when it's lower pitch. It's a default, lower pitch. But the cool thing is we can also add in a copy of it or a clone and then offset with a bit of delay so it happens afterwards. So if we throw in this delay amount, then you can hear the clone pitch happening afterwards. If I turn up the delay loads, you'll hear it. And there you go, that is our monster sound using Voxpat. I've been Multiplier, hope you enjoyed.